results don't come overnight. Some people plant in the spring and they quit in the summer and they completely abandon the harvest that comes in the fall. And I don't want you to be that person. You know, you put down the seed, you've been doing all the work to get that seed to grow. Don't abandon it, don't abandon it in the summer. Do not miss out on your harvest for the fall. Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and this is Rick Roberts Like the Podcast, where we talk about my faith, my thoughts, my life, and today is Motivation Monday, and I want to just give some words of encouragement for this new year. I want you to take a second and reflect on how the past year went. You know, we were hit by a pandemic, we were not expecting that, and it really shook a lot of things up. For some of us, we are unemployed. For some of us, we have had our marriages and lives fall apart. And for some of you, you have been isolated for so long where you feel like you're just going out of your mind. I feel for you. My heart really does go out for you. And I want you to know that there is hope for a better tomorrow. I know that for a lot of us, we are starting the new year in lockdown. And it's scary to think that we could have a repeat of last year this year. And I want you to do what you can to make a difference in your life. Don't leave it to someone else to change it and make it better for you. Find things that you can do to make yourself smarter. Find things to help bring more intelligence and more answers to your questions. So that way you can find that you can still grow in the midst of this situation. You can still grow even though it feels like a lot of your freedoms have been restricted. You can find a way to still be a unique and strong individual even though you may be feeling that you are caged by your situation and circumstance. Keep your head up and keep moving forward. Continue to persevere with the good work that you have started. Some of you have done a great job by learning new talents, new skills, um, finding new ways to change your life for the better, and you're feeling a little bit of a burnout because you've been doing it for so long and you've not seen the results you've hoped for quite yet. Be faithful and continue to do the right things you know to do. Hang in there. Continue to put in work, even though you may not be seeing the results. I've been saying this for a long time, but I need to keep reminding you that results don't come overnight. Some people plant in the spring and they quit in the summer and they completely abandon the harvest that comes in the fall. And I don't want you to be that person. You know, you put down the seed, you've been doing all the work to get that seed to grow. Don't abandon it. Don't abandon it in the summer. Do not miss out on your harvest for the fall you have a great thing that will develop in time. You need to be patient and you need to just hang on a little while longer. Also, I want you to ask yourself, why do you feel that you're burned out right now? Why do you feel dissatisfied with the results that you have? It could be one thing where you have a high expectation to be seen, to be glorified in what you're doing. And if that's the case, I want you to reevaluate a little bit, rethink why it is that you're doing this. Because to get praise from people, to get um, love from people through this act, trust me, it's a very limited and it's a very um, difficult thing to put your hat on because the love of people come and go so quickly. It's like the blowing of the wind. One day you feel the breeze and then the next day you're wanting, you're wondering where it's gone. And I want to challenge you to to love people, to serve people, because it's the right thing to do, because it's the best thing that matches your character, and not so much to receive the love and the affections of others, because it's only going to drain you and make you feel sorrowful and mournful and regretful of doing these things for other people because you're not getting back the love and the energy that you'd like. Continue to do a great job. Continue to put in work. Continue to persevere. Like I said, a lot of us are in lockdown right now. 
you can still do um, great personal development at home. Find ways to help enrich your personality, to enrich your character. Find fun things that you can learn for skills that can help um, make your life that much more enriched. Uh, I've, I've taken up my guitar again. I'm learning some uh, some scales and things on the guitar. Hopefully by this time next year you'll be able to see something cool. Uh, if I'm watching this back now and I haven't done it, I deserve to kick myself. In fact, Shireen, if I haven't done anything good on the guitar, go ahead and kick me. Yes, you have permission. Uh, and so, yeah, I want you to try something different. Do something different. Find a way to enrich your life. Do not wallow in your misery. Do not wallow in what it isn't, but be happy with what it is. Take responsibility for what is, and whatever it isn't, I want you to see what the difference is, where the gap is, and what made that gap so that way you can close that gap for the next year. You can find a way to grow and mature into the different levels into the different things you need to be to be able to close that gap because i heard a great thing said to me the other day um, if we were to redistribute all the wealth out to everybody evenly they very much predict that the money would end up right where it is again right now if you're not a millionaire you won't be able to maintain millionaire status because you don't know what it takes to be a millionaire so you're going to spend like a poor person you're going to spend like a gluttonous person and all that money will leave you because you don't know how to invest in it same thing with a relationship if you are used to being by yourself all the time and you don't know how to care for somebody else when you find someone that you're interested in because you don't know how to care for someone else it's only a matter of time until you start to look inwardly again and start to become self-focused instead of looking to be a blessing to someone else. And so be mindful that if you want something in life, you're going to have to grow into it. And you need to be able to look at the stages and what it's going to take to get there and close that gap by maturing into it and putting in the work right now. This is your opportunity to do the research, to find the answers to all these questions that you have so that way you can start to grow into that amazing person that you want to be for 2022. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and mope? Or are you going to put the work in and grow into the person that you want to be? Make a list. Write this down. Who is it you want to be? What is it you want to have? Where is it you want to go? Make this list and find a way to close that gap. I'm Rick Roberts, and you stay classy. Bye.